frame is the immediate border of a painting. So the frame is the, the most intimately connected surrounding feature to a painting. And our entrance into the painting is often the frame. My name is Peter Schade. I'm the head of framing at the National Gallery. I've been working with picture frames for over 30 years. I think the main purpose of frames is an intensification of the sense of depth within the painting. Most artists would have relied on the frame to some extent to create like a doorway into a space so you have a sense of looking through something into a three-dimensional space. This is a sale of antique picture frames, most of them French, 17th, 18th century, some 19th century frames, some English frames. There are quite a lot of frames that have never been touched, so they've got the original gilding, original size, They've survived several hundreds of years in almost pristine condition. They're beautiful objects made by sculptors, by master carvers, artisans who were very, very good at what they were doing. My name is Lynn Roberts and I'm a picture frame historian. Behind me on the wall, there are two rose corner frames and they're very attractive because they're carved with what are called fanned lambrequin corners, which stick out. And round those corners are carved very naturalistic flowers. The larger ones were for portraits, and they reflect the costumes of the period. So a rose corner frame would reflect the curly wigs that the men wore, and the piled up hair of the women. And these frames are a way of mediating between the portrait and the interior where it hung. Especially these French frames would have been made for interiors where the frames were part of the entire look. So the, the, the fireplaces, all the little ornaments, the chairs, everything would have been of the same style. They look so right hanging on the panelling or the painted walls of an English country house. But often when the house was sold, or inherited by someone further down the line. They wanted to redecorate and make the house their own place to put their own mark on it, or they wanted it to look more up to date. So they would reframe the pictures in more modern avant-garde frames to give them a more fashionable air. And these old frames were often stuck in the attic where nothing hurt them or came near them. And then, they would be put in a sale, possibly by themselves, and picked up by a very canny dealer, say. The reframing of old master paintings, especially of the better quality of master paintings, is so ubiquitous that a place like the National Gallery, almost none of the paintings have retained their original frames. As a museum person, one would want to put frames and paintings of the same period together. But there are many other ways of framing paintings. I have personally been responsible for reframing about 350 of them. It's as simple as finding something that, that, that fits. Each frame is something you can try and you can see what it does to the painting. And trial and error is the best way of coming to conclusive decisions. A painting needs to carry its own frame with it, like the snail carries its shell. And that's what gives it its ultimately perfect home. A lot of these frames are looking for the painting they lost. And if there are any pictures out there which would fit them, I think it would be wonderful if this sale brought some of them back together.